Christmas to start the 1983 Grand Final. Enormous crowd in attendance at Subiaco Oval. Umpires ball and row. Harper and Satori. Satori is not. Aitken at Shine. The half forward. O'Connell out in front. Holmes, but a free kick by O'Connell. And Holmes was through and on his way. Peter Satori won a beautiful knockout, a clear one in that occasion. And a 15 metre penalty going against Swan Districts. O'Connell just forward of the defensive 50 metre line. To left centre wing. Chance for Ware and Mitchell. And Clemente to attack almost on their left half forward flank. Very little breeze. A perfect day for football here at league headquarters and a big crowd in attendance. Ruck scaling. Satori over there with Moss. Satori brings it to the ground. Fogarty's in there. Scramble and the umpire bounce it out. Umpire David Rowe and umpire Mike Ball in charge. You no doubt that the, every player on the ground would still be very nervous and keen to get their first kick. Moss is in there doing the ruck work in the forward line. Satori's with him. Satori playing his first grand final for the black and whites. Kimberley shoots it out to Ware. It's still on that half-back flank. Mitchell's in there too. And the umpire called for another bounce. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a free kick to go. No, thought Alexis was going to get a free kick. Half-forward flank for Claremont. Moss cleverly back. Neesham in the bottom. 18 is Goulding. Lucky kick, that one. Thought he threw himself forward, actually. Goulding into full forward. Farmer didn't mark. Push, but he's been pushed by Langsford. And Farmer to get a kick about 35 metres out from goal. And there's a little bit of shoving going and pushing going on at the moment. I thought that was very technical then, John. Uh, the umpiring uh, has got to be such that they pick out those major free kicks early, and that one was a ticky ticky touchwood. So Farmer with an opportunity into the breeze to bring up Claremont's first goal. And in fact, the first goal of the match. 45 metres out, he'll kick from directly in front. It's a long kick, but an inaccurate one and probably justice anyway. The first score on the board to Claremont. Tony Salem kicks it out towards a half-back flank, looking for Fogarty, takes the mark. Between the full-back and the half-back line, John Fogarty out of side. Bring you down towards the centre wing. Both sides feeling each other out at the moment, right on the centre there. Kenny trying to come through, Nisham's with him. Goes forward to Brenton, showing plenty of pace, a long kick from Lee Brenton, right up towards full forward. Oh. Beacroft's underneath the car market. And the ball's gone out of play. That was a nervous miss then from uh, Barry Beecroft. He should have held that chest mark. Beecroft and Boucher. Big Ron Boucher with that left leg bandaged. And he and Beecroft to, to contest the ruck knock. Boucher in front. Beecroft got hand to that first. O'Connell. Daniels. Daniels an intelligent kick towards the boundary line. Uh, it'll be thrown in just on the defensive side of Swan District's 50 metre line. Claremont are behind. Swans are yet to score two and a half minutes into the first quarter. Nisham from behind. It was uh, Camper trying to go through. This is Nagel. Mitchell with the ball. Swamped and will get a kick. Kick it it is. Harry kick it on the ground for Claremont. Off the left half back flank. Short chip pass. Aitken. Aitken back with a left centre wing, about to put Claremont into attack. Puts it onto the left half forward flank, going towards the Subiaco, and Graham Moss takes the mark underneath the scoreboard. Claremont doing the attacking against the breeze, brings it inboard to centre half forward. Plenty of flyers out there. Neesham trying to come out with the ball. Picked up by Goulding. The left foot into Woods. Ralph still in the pocket for the Tigers. Blackwell, Solon. The back's working overtime there. Chance for Watson. A scramble there on the 25 metre line. Ware trying to bring it out. Taking it towards the pocket. Peter Ware with the ball and gets the black and whites out of trouble. Brilliant defensive play by Ware and Moss pushed in the back by Nagel. And it'll be Moss's kick. To what Moss. superb defence by Peter Ware. Moss to full forward. Ralph the target. He's in front. Bumped away by Satori. Brenton in trouble. Socked off by Langsford. Malaxis 
Fogarty on the bottom. King at battling as well. And it could be on again. It's very crowded to play. Uh, obviously, both sides are keen to give no nothing away early in the game. And it's interesting to note that Larry Kickett's been the player picked who matched Phil Markle on the wing. And it's going to be kicked to Peter Ware. And there's still a lot of uh, jostling going on. Ware dangerously across the ground. And Brad Schein did it superbly. He's off. Could be a mistake. Goulding back into the pocket. Ware from behind. And that could have been costly for Swans. Well, that was uh, an absolute sign of inexperience then by Peter Ware. To kick the ball straight across the goals is a, a sin in football, particularly a grand final. Some nervous players out there as the ball comes to the back of the pack. A chance for Mitchell. Puts it out to kick it. Look at the mistakes and the fumbling by both sides and a throw in on the 25 metre line. Out of side. Rucks gathering. Hostels in there. 25. Sarah Satori, 15. Not shooting the body. Look at that scramble of players. The defence are not going to let it out. And a rebound to take place about 30 metres out. It's more like a Claremont game of rugby goal. at the moment. Claremont pressing. Swans defending grimly. Big thump. Skorowski coming across. Malaxis cuts his line of flight. And still the Swans defence can't get that ball out of trouble. Claremont a goal. Swans no score. Six minutes into the first quarter. Moss in front. Nisham trying to do something. Denarkel was met back for Nisham. Narkel on the bottom and will get a kick on the defensive 50 metre line. And Swans really needed that one. Phil Narkel against four Claremont players on that occasion. Narkel into the centre of the ground. Harper behind. Shine read it well. Nisham and Blackwell to Don Holmes. Holmes with the left foot. They've got players streaming down the ground, Swans. That's Murray Rance. Going short. It's a good kick to Shine. Made himself available. Been very quick to settle down too, Brad Shine. Fourth kick coming up to Bradley Shine. Doing well. He'll be kicking from 55 metres with the breeze. So the beautiful kick. Magnificent kick from Shine. First goal of the match, Swan Districts lead by five points. Well, Brad Shine's one of those players that uh, leads the way as far as desperation and darkness go. And on that occasion, he's been given plenty of room to move into the open. And he's kicked truly from a long way out. And uh, just looking back the ground a little bit, uh, Tony Solon's been the player who's been picked to match Warren Ralph at full back. One goal to Swans, one point to Claremont, and then Friedman at the centre bounce. Goes to the black and whites. Phil Markle right in the centre, eh? Well, he pointed the other way, but Swans have taken the kick. Goes right down towards the flank. And another free kick. From an infringement in the centre bounce and from 30 metres out. They're certainly giving some free kicks to these umpires in the opening minutes. Well, it's, uh, that's what can happen. On that occasion, the ball's been moved into their forward line, the Swans forward line, very quickly. And it's been a one-to-one -one contest. And uh, Leon Baker is a very difficult man to beat at the best of times. Leon Baker, the star of the finals today, from 30 metres out, kicking towards the Perth end. He's jabbed at it. I think he's offline, he is, and the minor score. Did not follow through on that ball. He should have kicked through the ball. As you mentioned, Bob, he's just actually just jabbed up the ball, and you lose accuracy on those occasions. Looks like Beecroft to bring the ball back into play for Claremont. Swans lead 1-1-7 to Claremont are behind. Eight and a half minutes in. Harper was meant for. Kick it battling. Mitchell was there too. This is kick it for Claremont. Mistakes down in the defence by Claremont O'Connell that time. And very lucky to be able to get that one temporarily anyway out of danger. But good play from O'Connell. He's left his man Leon Baker and has taken a punt when their players have got possession of the ball, which is great to see from a young player playing in his first grand final. Forward of uh, Swan District's right centre wing. Satori, brilliant leap. This is Morton for Claremont. Rance in front, too strong. He's obvious keen to uh, continue on his good form. Lovely kick from Rance. Punch to the ground by O'Connell. Keith Nartle trying to come through. Nisham is out there available. To Smith. And Smith in turn to Holmes and they're using that ball superbly. Swan so far have been able to create that loose man in their forward line. Something that Claremont haven't been able to do in this first eight minutes. 
one one seven to a behind Holmes from 55 meters out kick straight into the man on the mark we'll probably get another chance though left it for Nartle he's caught should be all Claremont Blackwell into half forward Farmer thumped away nicely by Langsford this is Malaxis to Farmer Farmer's through the kick's not going to come back Ralph can't get there well, I think he hesitated a little bit, Ralph. He could have possibly made that. Quick kick in this time from Solon. Finds Langsford. Langsford taking the kick in the back pocket. A little bit unlucky there for Brett Farmer. Kicks it towards the centre. To Tory in front. And get it. Mitchell, oh, one-handed there. Daniels. Oh, a little bit slow to get rid of it. The pressure's on out there. Players back in for the ball. Watson's one of them. The umpire has pulled it up. The tackling's been superb. Good bounce down. Harper's an air Tory, a good hit. Reynolds, well up from the back line, straight through his opponent. And well, he's given the kick away, and the kick's going to Barry Kimberley. Very, very touchy. Kimberley to take the kick right centre wing. Kimberley going to right half forward. Frank Narkle making himself available. Aitken going back. With him is Holmes. Aitken towards the boundary line, but he'll get a kick for in the back, on the back of the neck. A very physical game to date. Aitken from out of the left fullback pocket. Baden Harper the target. Satori brilliantly. What a final round series he's having. Satori looking for Baker. Sandwiched between two of them, but did well to keep it down in that pocket. Swans are 1 1 7. Claremont two behinds. We are 11 minutes and 20 seconds into the first quarter. It's a tie battle in this first quarter, this uh, 83 grand final. Big voucher there. Smith trying to come through. A scramble once more and the rebounds. About 35 metres out from the Swans' goals. Umpires working overtime in this first quarter. That's umpire David Rowe. Ron Boucher goes for the back hit. Canton's there. He gets it back towards the centre. Malaxis there. Britain behind. Moss taking a long time to turn around. Now a chance for Claremont. And it comes to the flank of Blackwell. And it goes to Daniels. The kick in towards half forward. Ralph coming out. Can he get to it? He can. And Ralph takes the mark on the 50 metre line. There's nobody in the square whatsoever. Unusual to see Tony Solon give his opponent so much latitude. Malaxis is going to be the tallest one to fly. But there's nobody there at all, and Satori, no trouble. He's his oh, right for Satori, and Satori was called to play on because he appeared as if he went to hand pass the ball. 15 metre penalty being applied as well, and Malaxis was the man that put the tackle on. Well, here it is there again. Is. There you see Satori. Yeah, he went to play on. He's marked the ball. He went to play on from point blank range and Claremont have got there first well so far it's been a fairly controversial first 10 minutes of the game and uh, the scores are one goal two that was one where Peter Satori obviously believed that he took the mark cleanly but the umpire certainly had a different opinion he took the mark but then he went and played on I didn't think he went around his line John but the umpire's there and he's given the kick what about the value of the breeze Ken well, I don't think the breeze is playing a big part, Bob. Uh, there's goals that are easy to score at both ends. 13-minute mark, 1-2 to Clement, 1-1 one, one to Swans. Swans kicking to the left towards the Perth end with a light advantage of the breeze. Satori and Harper. Narkle in there too. Fogarty to Kenny. Oh, Kennedy takes the thump and will get the kick. Kennedy coming towards the uh, late position. Put Bradley Shine, been in it a lot. Puts it in towards full four towards Baker. He can't get it a chance for Holmes. He's swamped. And Beecroft, I'd say, will take the kick. Whoever the Claremont player is that should be manning Brad Shine has to pick him up because he's dangerous. Beecroft going short to Farmer. Must be having a run on the ball. Farmer coming towards right centre wing. Harper in front. Satori beautifully from behind. And what an influence he's having on the game so far. 1-2-8 to Claremont, 1-1-7 to Swans, 14 minutes into the first quarter. The Harper and Satori. Still Satori reigns supreme. Goulding. Now Narkle. Narkle to Narkle. Phillip to Keith. Keith up to the pocket. 
and Beecroft temporarily lost sight of that. So it's in Swan's left full forward pocket and they trail by just the solitary point. They're working the ball into that forward line well, Swan District, so they've just got to convert. Leisham an opportunity, but can't get there in time. Well, the boundary umpires and the umpires have been working overtime in this first quarter. Goals are at a premium, only one goal scored by either side. And we're just on the 15-minute mark in the first. Beecroft and Boucher. Holmes taps it on. Phil Narkel's there. William is kick it. Ducking and diving by Swift. Neesham. Kimberly waiting. Kenny. Kenny has a snapshot, which I think is offline. And one more point to the black and whites. Barry Kimberly worked very, very hard then for Swan Districts to get that ball out in the open. A very even game from two even sides. One, two, eight apiece. Fifteen and a bit minutes into the first quarter. Capacity crowd at Subiaco Oval. Beecroft to the right half back flank. Swan's reigning supreme in the air at the moment. A bit of aerial ping pong as they call it. Finally to ground, Goulding an opportunity. Up to the wing. Oh. Lap, well, not quite. Would have been a sensational mark had he taken it. Langsford shine into a brick wall. Some courage out there. Wayne Blackwell, a superb shot. Nizza having a little to do then with Brad Shine. Moss shepherded uh, Satori, and Satori on left centre wing to take the kick. Peter Satori putting it in towards centre half forward. Baker's up there, surrounded by Claremont Play. The chance for Holmes. He's free. 30 metres out from Don Holmes. This four, I'd say, for four points to the Swans. Yes, but what a valuable player Don Holmes is to Swan Districts. He's uh, missed a lot of this season. But his goal-kicking ability is superb, and uh, that was a superb piece of reading of the ball. Let's just have a look at the replay. He stayed down like a true rover, evaded the Claremont players, and lines up an open goal. Claremont heard badly on that occasion because they had four defenders in the air, and uh, there was nobody there at all to take the ball when it came to ground. That's the score. Got to be the old story, John, of one man up and the rest on the deck. Yeah, the fullback's job to go up with a full forward. There's the breeze blowing down the ground to the end to which Swan Districts are kicking. There's Princess Margaret Hospital end of the ground and Satori once again kick it. Alexis knocks it on. Nisham an opportunity. Kicked it straight into Satori. It's going to be okay though. That's a high tackle. Mike Smith to take the kick. Smith, another immaculate left foot kick. Holmes the target. Off the ground by Kickett. O'Connell couldn't get his kick before he was well bumped by Bill Skorowski. Every player has to earn his kicks, and it's certainly evident. And there's no place for the faint hearted out there today just forward of Swan District's left centre wing. Moss is in there with Satori having a great battle on the ball. John Fogarty holding the ball. A lot of game decisions by the umpire over to Watson from Moss. Blackwell to Daniels. Half forward line in towards full forward looking for Ralph. One out, Joe Ralph. Can't get it. Still got a chance. He's bundled out of the way there by Langford and a throw in the take place. Well, some pressure on both sides, Ken. Yes, excellent defensive play there. Warren Ralph, I thought he could have held that mark. Throwing on the 25-metre mark and a chance for the Tigers. Moss and Satori. Moss goes out. Is he going to get the kick? No. Malaxis. Oh, brilliant pass finds Mitchell. He meant that kick too. Yes, he looked for him. A left footer from Malaxis and about 30 metres out. Michael Mitchell. And a great opportunity here for the Tigers. We're at the 18 and a half minute mark as Mitchell has this kick. And would bring the scores level if he can kick it. Oh, he's hooked it. One point. Oh, shouldn't miss that, Michael Mitchell. You know, he's, gained, he's in there because he's a goal kicker. And to miss that just outside the 25 metre mark is unbelievable. Nervous kick, 19 minutes in. Solon changing direction, going out looking for Nisham. He'll have to hurry. Can't. 
can't make those sort of errors. And this is this is what can happen when you play a fellow at fullback who's not a regular fullback. There's the kick in. Ralph can't quite get there. Opportunity for them to clear. Out to Peniza. He's kept it in. Peniza to full forward. That's missed too. Did a grand job then, Daryl Penissa, to keep that ball in front of him. And you've got a chance. So Claremont a 1-4-10, trailing Swans 2-2-14 at the 19 and a half minute mark in the first quarter. Again, Tony Solon going straight down the middle this time. Mike Smith behind. Got a strong mark in front to Goulding. Isn't he a good finals player, Stephen Goulding? Yep. Goulding relaxes the target. Nisham cleverly on the bottom. Mitchell trying to get in there. That'll be a kick. Swan District's kick. And it's John Fogarty to take it. John Fogarty bringing it out towards a mover stand flag. Not a good kick. Daniels is in there battling. Shepherded by Moss. Can't pick it up, Alan Daniels. Didn't want that one. And Skorowski picks it up. Left half back flag. Boots it to the wing. Morton's there. Takes the mark. Yes, well, you can't have Shorty Daniels. Uh doing those sorts of things. That was a very, very poor piece of play. The vice captain puts it up towards half four, looking for Moss. Wears in front. From the back is Rance. Back to the wing. Kenny and Aitken. Panessa. And into the arms of Brenton. Lee Brenton back with left centre wing. Enormous pressure by both sides at the moment. Lee Brenton towards half forward. Holmes in front. Gouling. Narkel. Beecroft and a lucky kick into the arms of Blackwell. Blackwell to half forward. Farmer and Langsford. Langsford brilliantly. Superb piece of play by Don Langsford. Langsford looking for Brad Chine, who's took it, taken his eye off the ball actually, but it'll be okay. Nice left foot kick. Reynolds not sighted at the moment. That's Aitken. This is Narkel. Chance for Beecroft, too slow, but luckily, almost for him anyway, was tackled too high. Larry Beecroft from the centre of the ground, kicking to centre half forward. Moss is in there. Mark Market, Watson, Ware, they're all battling. Fogarty gets it back. Keith Narkel in the centre, surrounded by Claremont players. Well backed up by Mark Smith. Smith kicks towards full forward. In front is Harper, William Satori. Harper sparring for the kick. Won't get it. Comes to Aiken. He puts it close to the line and a professional kick. No, it hasn't done out. It has now and a throw in to take place. So the score at the moment, Swans 2-2-14, Claremont 1-4-10, 22 minutes in. So Tory yet another knock. I don't think he's missed one today. Well knocked on by Kimberley. Narkel tackled too high. Good decision too. Phil Markle, the man that wanted the ball. And again, Brad Shine drifting down the centre by himself. Narkel will kick from 35 metres out. Pushed it across the side, which is unusual to see him do that. It's still not done, though. Satori to Shine. He's not through. Look at him battle for the ball. And Watson wrestling him with it. There was no way Brad Shine was going to let that ball get out of his reach. So Swans pressing at the 22, 23 minute mark, first quarter. Satori going to do it himself and nearly did. Well, it's been a low scoring first quarter. Plenty of pressure applied from both sides. There's a kick out. Good one too. Right out towards a half forward flank looking for Beecroft. Reynolds is there. Gets that long kick to half forward. Mitchell and Ware. Mitchell from the back. Can't get it. No one back in Moss up. Oh, there's nobody at all back there. Oh, good use to the body, puts Rance out of it. In the half forward pocket, Mitchell goes in board to Ralph. Solon brilliantly done. Tony Solon, a high kick to the half back line. Moss is underneath it, so is Fogarty. Nobody can get there. Reynolds has come right up to take it. Puts it in towards a pocket. And now it's out of Some magnificent dashes then, firstly by Michael Mitchell and then by Tony Solon. Good butt by Mitchell to take a bloke the size of Murray Rance out of the play temporarily. A brilliant defence by Solon. There's the score. 15 plays, 10. Swans in front. Beecroft. And big Ron Boucher. It's interesting to see the influence that Ron Boucher has on the game. He's on the ball now. Ransberg uh, warming up on the, on the bench to come on. 
A free kick against Beecroft and about to take it. Both sides are keen to get a ascendancy across that centre so that they can pump that ball into their forward lines. Ron Boucher. Hand pass to Rance. Obviously his leg's not good. Rance another immaculate kick. Knocked on by Brenton. Chance for Morton. To Blackwell. Blackwell to Peniza. Getting themselves into a bit of strife at the moment. Claremont. Peniza left foot. Used it nicely. Blackwell played on. He shouldn't have rushed the kick and hit the post. The post. Well, a great follow-up piece of play by Wayne Blackwell. I felt that he, he dwelled on the hand pass a little too long, but followed his play up and unlucky to hit the post. Well, Boucher off, Cranesburg on, as Peter Ware takes the kick into play, and he's gone towards the other side. Fogarty there. John Fogarty making a desperate attempt, but the ball's gone out of play on the 25-metre line. Claremont are using tagging measures on Jared Neesham. They've got Lindsay Cantor tailing him everywhere. It's pretty tough. We're into the time on period in the first quarter. Very low scores here. Phil Markle trying to get it away. Langsford does so. Long kick to half forward. On the half forward line. Back it comes to the centre. Smith gets it. To Baker. Plenty of pace from Leon Be Baker, leaving O'Connell behind. Back it goes to Moss, who anticipates. Moss at full back. To back towards Peneza. Narkel from the back. And Dal Peneza is going to take the kick at half back. There's Boucher off the ground, and Peneza should have marked that ball but didn't. Got the kick anyway. Going in the centre, looking to Goulding. No mark. Opportunity for Cantor. Hand pass straight to Kimberley. Kimberley with an unerring kick to half forward, but Moss rock like in defence. Mr. Experience. Settling his teammates down. 1 5, Noddy, is that's bad kicking. That's Larry Kickett. The endeavour's there, but that's the main thing because they'll settle down. Kick it. Going out towards Aitken. Kimberley. Now Swans go towards full forward. Satori almost. Leon Baker. Satori slipped to Holmes. He's gone. Holding the ball, a bit rough. Oh, a superb tackle by Morton. They don't get any second chances as the ball comes out to Peniza. He's at half-back, puts it up towards the wing. Brendan in front takes it, non-stop football. Back it goes to Smith. 55 metres out from Smith. Puts it back towards Baker and Satori. O'Connell's there too. O'Connell gets it out to Kickett, who's doing a pretty good job on uh, Narkel in this quarter. And the ball to be thrown in 35 metres away. Well, that last line of defence for Claremont is working very, very well. And Michael O'Connell's doing a superb job. 27-minute mark. Uh, there won't be much time on because not many goal scores. Skorowski tagging Daniels in the centre of the ground wherever he goes. Reynolds. Trapped by Narkel. Phil Narkel. Back to half forward. Leon Baker with a sit. Chance for O'Connell now. He waited down. Narkel from behind, that's Keith. The Mizzer in front. Oh, Narkel's got hand on the ball, but he's going to get a kick. Mm. Keith wasn't that keen on moving the ball too far away, and he's been given the uh, free kick by the umpire. Rather lucky. Halfway between wing and left half forward feint. Nice kick, almost to the edge of the square. Oh. And there's been a push to Satori. Yes. I think Baden Harper was just a little too intent on getting Satori out of the way. It's they had two men of the contest. So Satori to have a shot after the siren. Perfect. Goal here would be very handy. A very low scoring quarter considering the conditions. 30 metres out Satori. It's a good kick. And Swan Districts have scored their third after the siren. So the score, 3-3-21 three, three, to 1-5-11, Swans in front.
21 plays 11, Swan District's in front. Again, Satori with the knock. That was Gooling from Peniza. Half forward. Langsford caught. Langsford trying to tap it on. Chance for kick it. Kick it a shot. Hand pass came from Camp. I think he's done it. Great play. That's what Claremont wanted with the use of the breeze. They struggled in that first quarter to only kick one goal, but they, their general team play was excellent. And I'm sure that'll do the side a hell of a lot of confidence. This there can't is the man that did the, that gave the hand pass out to kick it. And kick it from about 30 metres out. A very experienced player, Larry Kickett. 3-3 three, three to 2-5 in favour of Swans. Opening minutes of the second and Kickett uh, experience in final rounds football with East Perth. Harper gets the tap. Claremont determined this time with a breeze to go forward. Scramble there, just forward to the centre. Picked up by Shine, who's doing well. Satori over to Rance. Towards a half four line. Aiken. Ooh, can't mark it. Kenny's there with him. Keith Narkle, bundled out of the way, gets his foot to the ball to Baker. Here's danger. That full forward pocket puts it in towards full forward. Beecroft in front. Can't mark it. Picked up by Kimberly. There's a quick reply. One point. One point. Gee, missed. A dangerous situation, but Leon Baker unmarked. 30 metres by himself as O'Connell got sucked down into the play. And Baker reading it superbly. There's the score, 17 to 22. Swans in front, 2-5 to 3-4. This is Morton for Claremont. Going out on the right half back flank. Brad Shine an opportunity. Neesham trying to come through, can't make it. Canther tagging him. That's Shine. Mike Smith from 55 metres. Kranzberg going back in a good position, can't mark. Socket off the ground by Kimberly. Gee, Kimberly very heavily dealt with then by Reynolds, but it went unsighted. No place for the faint hearted. There it is. Here it is again. Oh no, it was only around the. Uh, a little bit of acting. Around the chest area. O'Connell to right half back flank. Harper trying to knock it on. Daniels tapping it. Narkel wants it. He's on the bottom. This is Skorowski. Left foot from Skorowski. Holmes a grand mark. There's Holmes against the back up there. No chance from the backman. And uh, Donnie Holmes always about 60 metres out. Plays on quickly. Puts it in towards full forward. Baden Harbour on the chest. That's a good saving mark. He, uh, it's one of the few times that a player has been able to go for a mark without any opposition. Baden Harbour not resting on his shoulders today. Towards the flank, Peniza looking for Moss. Moss is close to line, well backed up by Peniza. Is he inside? He is. No, he's out now. And a throw in underneath the scoreboard. Perfect bit of play set up then by the captain coach, Graham Moss. It shows us the scoreboard that Swans are 3-5, Claremont 2-5, a goal between them. Moss with that tap, brilliantly read, however, by Langsford, it looked like. Long kick, Harper from behind. Chance for Kimberly. Kimberly on the dot. Holmes. Holmes to Nagel. Here's danger. Nagel an accurate kick. Ring it plays from districts. Well, that was superb sharing of the ball. It was like a rugby line running down there. There was one, two, three players. And here's a fight going on. A little bit of frustration. Nervous tension. Unnecessary, but uh, a great goal from the Swan District side there. Great use of the ball. Phil Markle, the player who finished the ball the game off with a goal. There it is. There it is. Doesn't miss many. Yeah, top player. Both sides will be looking for their centre line to get on top. Well, Claremont got the first one. 4 5 Swans, 2 5 Claremont. Opening minutes of the second. Satori gets the thump again. He's been a good ruckman. And another rebound from the centre. There's been a lot of tackles laid. There's the Ruckman set again. No contest. There's Kimberly comes out with it. Skorowski kicks it up towards half four and over the net, I would say. 
Well, Kent has been playing Neesham pretty close, but this time Neesham gets the kick. The complete opposite to last week. South Fremantle allowed Neesham to do what he liked. He was on his own for most of the game, but uh, Claremont have obviously decided on defensive tactics there. 55 metres out. He's gone towards the flank. Aitken. Wall goes in by the girling, and he's pushed for fortunately for Claremont. And he will get the kick. Rather lucky. Very, very lucky. Goulding out of the right fullback pocket. Lost the target. Lost tapped it on. Nobody to receive it though. Into the open spaces for Brenton. Kniza with him. Brenton can't pick it up. Blackwell. Sock it off the ground cleverly. Now it comes out to Skorowski. And that was from Satori. Skorowski to Franzberg. Knocked away from him. Another opportunity for Markle. Caught by Kickett. Still caught. Kickett trying to get in front. Mitchell now. And Mitchell it was. Finally battled his way to Goulding. Then to Beecroft. Beecroft to half forward. Farmer. Back to Kickett. Farmer clear from Kickett. There's the lead from Ralph and a nice pass. Great yeah. perseverance by Larry Kickett. And a superb hand pass and kick from Brett Farmer. Mitchell and Kickett getting them mixed up a little there, but now the ball with Warren Ralph. He'll be kicking from nearly 60 metres out. Plenty of distance with the kick, but he pulled it in his endeavours to get that distance. He had to have a shot. There was no one leading into any space. They weren't having to kick their goals from a long way out or have their attempts from a long way out. Langsford to bring the ball back into play and uh, he must kick towards a member stand flank looking for Rance. Chance for Watson. Goes short. Hesham's there. Gets it over to Fogarty. Swans get out of trouble towards the half back line. Moss. No interference. Plants is the umpire. Brenton. To Mike Smith, he's come right down towards the half back line. A little bit of tackling by Claremont. Oh, a lucky bounce favours Neesham. He can't get out of it. He's trapped. Watson, a kick to work. Full forward, a good kick from Watson. But it's only a point. What tremendous pressure is on that's being applied from both sides. It's whoever gets the break. There's the score 2 6 to 4 5. 18 plays 29. And it's going to be very close. And he didn't get there in time. He should have dived at that. Anything rather than that. Very casual then. Watson to take the kick. Going into full forward. Farmer in front. Grand mark in defence. And it's Satori again. What a superb game he's having. That was Sol in the kick. Delicate pass to Kimberley, and he's been paid. It. Excellent mark. When you think that it was the two players, Mike Smith and Peter Satori, that were sidelined last year in the grand final through injury, and they're obviously making the most of their opportunity today. 29 plays, 18. Swans in front at the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. Kimberley to left centre wing. Kenny in front. Kenny takes them up on the outer side between half-back and centre wing. Puts a high one into the breeze, up towards the scoreboard flank. Only the players on this one. Bradley Shine, tackle hard, Panther, centre of the ground, well done by Reynolds. Langsford, brilliantly done by Don Langsford, got out of trouble, to Skorowski to half forward, and where it lands, yes. It's almost the back of the back lines at the moment. Kick where it lands to Don Holmes, he'd be about 60 metres out. Nobody on Mike Smith. Donny Holmes kicking towards the Subiaco end, puts it high in the air. And a good back to O'Connell, but he said, play on. <laughs> and I think he is going to get the kick, fortunately for Claremont. And Michael O'Connell will look at it. the kick. It wasn't a mark. Around the neck, Pope. Fancy paying that around the neck. That is absolutely ridiculous. What a square off. And a 15 metre penalty to boot. Hero there. So it's with O'Connell. We were waiting for it to come down. That was a dreadful kick from Malaxis. Now to Goulding. Back to Malaxis. Malaxis wide to O'Connell. 
And he turned to Pelizza. That looked like Canter. Now to Malaxis. They haven't kicked the ball yet. Kick it. Out wide to Blackwell. Blackwell's around. 55 metres out. There's all Swan District. Solon. Chance for Farmer. Skorowski. Solon. Now Langsford from the 25 metre line. And brilliant defensive play by Swan Districts. Moss couldn't mark. Tried to get the hand pass back to Panizza. Now Malaxis. This is Cantha. Cantha right half forward. And chipped in a lovely pass to Watson. Watson about uh, nearly on the 50 metre line. And they got a little bit of breeze over his right shoulder. This will be a good goal if he can get it. Both sides wanting to get their running game going. Watson, not a long kick, but he puts it right into the square. Oh, the mark, has it been paid? It has. Rowan Ralph. Ralph, right in the square to take this mark. Slack defensive play on that occasion. Let's have a look at the replay. Warren Ralph, well and truly in front, alone almost, takes the mark. 125 goals, he wants four to equal Maloney's record, and there's one of them. Another goal of the Tigers. That was what you could call almost an easy goal. We've been at a premium so far, but Warren Ralph has given a free reign at that ball. And a big cheer going up for Stan Nowotny, who's going on to play in the grand final. Barry Kimberley coming off, Nowotny going on. There's the score, 24 to 29, 11 and a half minutes into the second quarter. A lot of emotion, Stan Lawrence. There he is. What a magnificent ornament to the game of football he's been. Knocked on. That's Mitchell. This will be Murray Rance for Swans, though. Put Narkel under a little bit of pressure there, but he's done it well. Back to Rance. In turn to Langsford. Langsford looking for Holmes. Out comes Nowotny. Nowotny to Rance. Rance to Holmes. Oh, what a brilliant grab by Ford. It's a superb marking for him. Taking a couple of rippers. Morton out of the back pocket. Moss the target. Knocked it on cleverly. Malaxis if he can get there. Narkel won't let him have used his body superbly. But unfortunately has kicked it out on the full. There's pressure over there as Daryl Panizza. And will kick it into play. Have There's a look at that mark again. There's Morton, eyes on the ball and just floated in to take a grand capture. As Panizza kicks it down towards the centre, play on as Fransberg puts it back towards the centre. Brenton, got Holmes, got two against him, big cross one of him, Holmes in front, trying to gather it, Morton's there with him, well shepherded by Beacock, Morton gets it over to Reynolds, they're not playing well in defence, Ware in front, Watson at the back, Fogarty back to Ware, Roy loves to run this fellow, off he goes, Mike Smith, wing position, goes inboard to Rance. Well, as you'd expect, the game's opening up a little bit. It had to because it was as congested as anything in that first quarter. Hurry, Rance. Centre of the round sends a long one towards the forward area. Big thumps by Claremont. Holding the ball, screams a crowd. Clarence is the umpire. Bounce down. And it'll be on Swan's 50-metre line. They lead 4-5-29 to 3-6-24. And we're 13 and a half minutes into the second quarter. You don't even get a split second, do you, just oh. to get rid of that ball? The quick and the dead. It'll favour Satori. He's going to have to do nearly all the work himself. Nisham throwing himself on the ball. Chance for Rance. Whoops, took his eyes off it. Blackwell straight through. This is Malaxis. Dreadful kick from Malaxis. Farmer should get there, though. Oh, it's going to elude him almost. Hand pass straight to Solon. Shocking play. Solon, beautiful use to Leon Baker. In the centre of the ground now, Baker. Chipping it up high to Narkel. And he doesn't miss many marks. The moment of the game is to maintain possession, and Claremont then just gave it to Tony Solon in defence. There's the kick from Narkel, looking for Nowotny, too far for him. O'Connell going back. Can't get away from Nowotny, though, and finally it's out in the forward pocket. 4 5 29 to 3 6 24. 14 minutes into the second quarter. Trying to take place, and a mistake by Farmer has brought the ball right up to the Swans forward line. Baker. Oh, he's got a shot at goal, he's shot it well. Leon Baker twisting out of trouble. He's the danger man, Leon Baker, average size.
something like 20 kicks a final round game and uh, has been rather quiet. Superb goal for the Swan Districts. They move to five goals, five. Claremont, three, six. Have a look at it. Leon Baker, tremendous body movement. Well balanced. A superb goal for Swan Districts. So Swan Districts, their lead a little. 5 5 35 to 3 6 24. Anyone not getting the ball out of the center at the moment. Overrunning it. This is Mitchell. Lost it to Ware. Rubbed him beautifully on it. And thumped it on. Reynolds trying to go through. Langsford in there battling as well. And Mike Smith, number 25 for Swans. 35 plays, 24. Swans doing it well. Moss. Only as far as Smith, that's Langsford. Reynolds lost the ball to Narkle, who cleverly got it on. This is Goulding. And look at the work by the Swans forwards to keep the ball down there. A great smother on that occasion. The way this game's going, the fitter side must win. Carrying all before them at the moment. Swannies, Moss, Watson fumbling. Langsford, Alexis. And in there also is Kranzberg. There's 36 very hungry players out on the ground. Kranzberg and Moss. Kranzberg. Aitken, though, for Claremont. Court. Moss. Reynolds. Oh. Pressure left foot kick by Reynolds, and there goes the effects, Mike. Was it a point? No second chance as Philip Narkel takes it. You won't, you won't be using that anymore, I don't think. Puts it up towards Baker. Leon Baker, Baker, the danger man in that forward line. 55 metres out, Leon Baker. The torpedo punt kick goes right up towards full forward. Now, what he's in there, and a pack of players. Holmes, Aitken, left it. Now, what me, Skorowski. Oh, of course, says the umpire. That was a pretty bad decision. And the kick is going to come from about 55 metres out. He wouldn't have had many shots for goals, I don't think, in his career. Bill Skorowski's no. played mainly in the defence. Bill Skorowski. Here has it is on the replay. Oh, he's got the ball in his hand and... Uh, very, very ticky. Very ticky. light push of it was a push, but Bill Skorowski's got the kick and he's having the shot. There he is, the utility player puts it high in the air. No mistake about this one. Full points to the Swannies. Well, that's Point District's third goal for this quarter. They've started to improve their general play. And they're finishing it off. Skorowski, a player who's played mainly in defence, has kicked very truly on that occasion. There's the score. 17 and three quarter minutes into the second quarter. 41 plays, 24. Good play by Swans. Kranzberg got the tap two. Watson for Claremont to Malaxis. Blackwell cleverly. No mark at the moment. Canter to Farmer. Farmer from about 45 metres out. I don't think Ware's going to get there, and that's a bad defensive error by Swans. A superb piece of play by Claremont there. They've replied to that goal of Skorowski very, very quickly. And it was a much needed goal, too, because neither of these sides can afford to get the opportunity. Watch how Farmer steadies. Obviously, his teammates talking to him. He was aware he was on his own. And a beautiful goal from Brett Farmer. 19 minute mark coming up. Swan 6 5 41. Claremont 4 6 30. Great game of football here at League Headquarters. Beecroft, a big thump. Keith Narkle. It's a long one to half forward. And a good mark to Peter Kenny. Marks very well in front. He's prepared to get into that position. It's up the lead further field. Skorowski again. He's gone short, there he is, danger man, Baker. Yeah, well, what unselfish play from Skorowski. He had his opportunity to kick his second goal in succession then, but he's opted to pass to that danger man, the Swan Districts player, Leon Baker, who has to be manned by the Claremont team because you can't afford to give him an inch. 20 metres out, he's kicked 37 goals for Swans during the air. This looks like another one. It is, and the Swans quickly fire. Swan District's most reliable player in the finals, together with Peter Satori. And that's his second goal for this quarter. Must be paid very close attention. What's Baker. happening is that as Shorty Daniels is coming down into the forward line, Skorowski's going with him. 
But once the ball gets into the forward line for Swan District, Skorowski just breaks away and Daniels won't follow him. That's Baker's fifth kick for this quarter. Graham Moss, a loose man in defence. B. Croft and Kransberg. Kransberg getting it out of the centre well. Skorowski again, the Watney almost. Oh, he's paid it. He has to. Well, Stan's moving around there in the forward line like a teenager. He knows it's his last game of his career. And what an important kick. Sona Watney from 45 metres out directly in front. It's not a bad looking kick. It's a great kick and Swans are carrying all before them. Well, the Stan Watney, you know, is a gamble most probably to play him. But boy, has it given the Swan District side some emotion. He won't let them down. A superb goal. And they, that's their sixth, fifth of the quarter. They move to eight goals, five. Claremont, four goals, six. Coming up to the 20-minute, 20 21-minute mark in the second, and Claremont need a couple of quick runs before half-time. Beacoff's on the ball. Post to Kransberg. Kransberg's thump. They're getting the ball away from the centre of the black and whites. There it goes again. Philip Markle running towards the half-forward line. Gets his left foot to the ball, looking for Holmes. Well thumped away there by Morton in defence and a throw in to take place. Dangerous Bob, isn't it? Every Swan District forwards well in front of his opponent. Claremont uh, following division. The Ruck Rovers aren't going down into the back line. Moss and Satori. Satori. And Swan's pressing hard at the moment. 53 plays, 30. 21 minutes into the second quarter. And the biggest break to date. Just outside the 25 metre line. It was Moss to Goulding, to Watson, to Beniza. Beniza up to the wing. Beecroft in front. Camping down in front of the pack, Swans. This is Langsford. Shine did it well to get it to him. Langsford into half forward. Aitken and Kenny. Moss, Aitken to Larry Kickett. He's in trouble, Kickett. Lucky to get away with that one. Swans are keen to uh, put a lot of pressure on that last line of defence in the Claremont side. If there's any tender spot, that's it. It's still 8.5.53 to 4.6.30 at the 22-minute mark. Kick it. Still kick it. With him is Leon Baker. Baker's kicked two goals for the quarter and is having a big influence on this game. 45 metres out from Swans' goals. Another bounce down. Moss trying to get his side going out there on the far flank. Peniza, Watson, Keith Narkel. Well done, Goulding. Out to the flank once again to Peniza. Back to Blackwell. Blackwell's kick goes to half forward. Here's a chance from Alexis. In towards full falling for Ralph and found him. Brent had to take that mark on that occasion. He should have been talked into it by Tony Solon, but he's let it go over his head. Warren Ralph. Let's have a look at Steve Malax's kick. A beautifully positioned kick. And just watch Lee Brenton. He had to take this mark. We well just kicked. didn't quite see it. Well kicked and well led. 40 metres out, Warren Ralph. And the uh, Claremont need this one. Followed through that charist style of Ralph Sonny's put it through for a minor score. It was a crucial goal to score for Claremont on that occasion for Warren Ralph, and you'd expect it from him. They can't afford to be inaccurate. So 31 plays 53, and we're now 23 minutes in. Smith, Beecroft from behind. They need to capitalise from this one. He'll hang this ball into the square. Beecroft, 60 metres out. A long kick. Where? From behind. Trying to clear it. Solon. Watson, an opportunity. Kick smothered by Kransberg was good play. That's Langsford to the boundary line. Rance. Langsford following it up. Neesham backing up brilliantly. And superb play by Swan Districts to get themselves out of trouble. But there's been a little to do behind the play. A great example, John, of uh, a team helping its teammates. The Swan Districts players. There's three players that smothered that ball down there. Just not one. Neesham to get the kick. Halfway between left half back flank and left centre wing. 53 plays, 31. Swans in front, nearly into the time on period. Kenny in front. 
and he does mark well from that Mike, position. Mike Aitken has to get in front. He's getting playing from in front and taking a lot of marks in this quarter. Puts it high, what is bad? Now what in front of his chest? Superb play by Stan Nowotny. And the veteran's taken another mark in his last game. He's going well. Kicks it towards full forward. Muscles there with the Tory. And the ball's gone out of play. What an inspiration, Stan Nowotny. You see that mark coming mark up again. again. There he is. Front position again. Knows how to use the body. There's the ball thrown in, in the pocket. Lamar trying desperately to bring it up, bring it away. Big pack of players there, and the umpire will rebounce. 8 5 53 to 4 7 31, 25 minutes in. Left full forward pocket for Swans. Satori in front. This is Nowatney. Nowatney to Narkel. He could. He hasn't. <laughs> That would have been unbelievable. Oh, that's that's true. True. But the player that's generating all these opportunities is Stan the Man. Yeah, they've certainly gained the ascendancy from Claremont uh, Swans. And that'll be a kick to Malaxis. Swan Districts are just not allowing the Claremont running machine to get going. Malaxis off the left half back flank. Going and looking for Beecroft. Nisham from behind. Beecroft in front. This is Baker. Daniels just leans into him. Mitchell haven't seen much of him. Oh. Caught and carried forward. He earned that kick. Mitchell hasn't been in the play much. Long kick looking for Ralph. From behind Solon. Ralph arguing with the umpire. There's no future in that. Grand spoil that time by Morton. Morton back to Panizza. Panizza to Farmer. They're going to be in trouble now. There's three defenders closing on them. Farmer getting it on. This is Ware. Brilliantly out of trouble. Look at him go. Ware up to the wing. Only as far as Aitken. That's well, got in front that time. Not he must yes. have heard you. Well, he needed to take a mate, uh, mark, uh, Michael Aitken, because he's been beat, beaten soundly by Kenny. And there's the lead from Ralph. And uh, how the heck is he going to have a shot from about, what, 80 metres almost? And it makes it easy for the Swans defenders to spoil. Yeah, enormous kick from Ralph. It's into the square. <gasps> Farmer could have almost marked that then. Or Daniels it was. Let himself down. Watson's through. And an error from the Swan District's defence, which we haven't seen many of. Well, that's great character from the Claremont side because Swan Districts were just starting to take take this game uh, apart really and it was Claremont needed a goal very quickly Warren Ralph had an opportunity here's the playback the Swans defenders always playing well together but on that occasion Mark Watson scooped in and kicked a magnificent goal for Claremont they moved to five goal seven Swan Districts eight goal six 28 minute mark in the second and the Claremont desperately need another couple a little bit lax in the forward line on a couple of occasions Harper's back on the ball opposed to Cranesbury Harper's stuck Nisham getting caught a lot today. Nisham Mitchell, plenty of Swans players. Fogarty's one of them. He's got two leads Baker or Phil Markle. Baker will take it. Baker puts it up towards the Tory. No trouble at all. He's fumbled. Oh, a sure mark there. This by the Tory. First mistake I've seen him make in the finals. Yes, and back it comes towards Panizza. Taking the mark or in the back, whichever you like. It's good tactics by Swans, though. They're falling all over Panizza and really slowing him down. Yeah. Well, Panizza underneath the scoreboard now, going for the long kick. Looking for Ralph. He's got to come from the back. He's surrounded by black and white players there. Now it goes to the flank to Keith Narkel. Ooh, Keith Narkel comes right across to Sol, and they're coming across goals, but they're doing it well because they're on their own. Peter Ware over the half-back flank and kicks towards the centre. Ware had plenty of time to get that kick in. Moss. A bad kick back by Peter Ware. He's kicked to the biggest man on the field, Graham Moss. And Claremont having to defend grimly at the moment. Moss. That's not a good kick from Moss. Fogarty read it well. Baker, 30 metres out by himself. Nobody in the goals. Where's O'Connell? Holmes able to just stand there, have a shot. And it's as easy as you like. Well, that's just pure confidence on the part of Don Holmes. He could have shot that ball over Phil Markle, who was in an open goal. But he elected to have a shot from quite a way out, but made no mistake. There it is. There it is. 
Great play by Fogarty. They had three players, Swan Districts. A magnificent goal to the Swan side. They moved to nine goals, six. They're opening up a big lead, 23 points. And a mistake from the captain coach. Probably could have gone right down the middle of the ground as Harper gets the hit out. Blackpool's in there. Harris Gorowski, Keith Narkle. Back toward Baker. Takes another mark. Going great guns in this quarter. Moss, Cranesburg, Cranesburg from the back, can't mark it. Now Watney's in there too, tackles hard. Holmes, holding the ball against Dolly Holmes. Play on as the siren goes. Half time here in the 1983 Grand Final. Swan Districts, 9 goal, 660. Lead Claremont, 6 goals, 5 goals, 7, 37. Swan Districts with the lead at the moment. Claremont with a job ahead of them. Boucher back on the ground. Peter Kenny on the bottom of that. It's been quite an effective half forward. Big Ron Boucher should create a little bit of fear here. Back on the ground fresh. Beecroft over the top, but straight to Narkle. Narkle to half forward. Nowotny and O'Connell. O'Connell from behind, Nowotny uh, cleverly kept that in. Holmes trying to get it on, does. Kenny and Nowotny mix up together. This is Reynolds and Holmes, and already the Claremont defence under pressure. What an inspirational player Stan Nowotny at the late stage of his career is. He's certainly fired the Swan District side prior to half-time, and he's going on with the business now. Swans 9-6-60, Claremont 5-7-37. One minute into the third quarter. There it is in that pocket there. Claremont trying definitely to get it out. Malaxis to Mike Smith. Goes in board towards full forward. Daniels underneath it. Been missing in the second quarter. Kicks it up towards Peneza. A race on out there. Keith Narkle showing plenty of pace. Well done from the skipper. Gets it back up. No one there. Well, he certainly has made seven inch ways as he became on. Yes, and a great inspirational effort by Keith Markle. He had control of that ball, used his speed first for the ball, and he looked for the, the old ex skipper, Stan Nowotny. 45 received, metres out. Received it gracefully. Kicking towards the Subiaco end in the opening minutes of the third. Oh, not a good kick from Stan. Satori. And he's going to get a kick right in the square, Peter Satori. Leighton Harper doesn't know what's going on down there at the moment. Caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Only 18 years old, Peter Satori, and playing in his first grand final. Ama he? Amazing performance, Bob, the first half. His knockouts were absolutely brilliant. He continued to run, but this boy Seuss certainly must fade out before the day's finished. There's the kick, no mistake about it. Four points to Swans. Well, Claremont couldn't afford that one. Claremont, Swans jumped away. Inspirational football by Stan Watney and Satori, the youngster, as I said, coming to the game. He's going to be in a top ruckman in right throughout Australia. There's no question about this bar. He's possessed with tons of ability. Swan Districts 10 6 66, Claremont 5 7 37. Two and a half minutes into the third quarter. Boucher versus Beecroft. Line ball, Malaxis from the middle, Moss. Reynolds, Ralph Solon, oh. and Ralph to get a kick. Incorrect. He was mauled all right. Solon appealing that he didn't do anything wrong, but the umpire in position to see it. Here it is. Here it is in replay. Got the front first. Ralph took the front first. If you do that, you're halfway there. Okay. So Ralph hasn't had the best of days for kicking. Only had one. Had a couple of shots. And Claremont desperately need this one. Right this from is. about 30 metres out. Could not miss this one. He hasn't. And Claremont have dropped their sixth. Well, they'll be blind with a quick goal by Swan Districts. By a mistake by Solon, but Warren Ralph's ability to get in the front certainly 
rewarded him with that goal. And uh, no doubt Claremont looking more from, for more from this player. But the Claremont running players have been cut off. Players of the types of Daniels, Malaxis, Mitchell and Blackwell had 33 possessions in the first half between four of them. It's not a great number. And uh, it must be mentioned that the tackling of both sides has been great. And it certainly bears fruit there that those great running players of Claremont have been chopped off. 10-6 to Swan. 6-7 to Claremont. Just on the four-minute mark in the third and a vital quarter for Claremont. Boucher and Beecroft. Alexis. Peter Ware. He hasn't come. Get into the game a great deal. Peter Ware. It's on the half-forward flank. There's a chance now for Mitchell. He's got shots. It's a good pass. And it's well done for Rock. Good pass. A perfect example of the player of Sullivan's ability to the speed to him a half-back flank not knowing how to play the full back position. He was worrying about protecting the goal. He's got to forget the, the goal, right or wrong, John, and look after his full forward. Absolutely. One man to beat, Marty, and that's the guy that's got the ball at the moment. 35 metres out by him, Ralph. He's kicked two, three coming up. Oh, he's up the side of his boot from the leading full forward. It's out of play. Well, you cannot afford to do that in grand finals, Marty. No, they're the goal kickers. That's what they're paid for. That's what his name's are all about, kicking goals. He's certainly done that. Bad mistake by Warren. This is Rance to bring the ball back in. Left half back. Beecroft and Moss. Moss cleverly. This is Blackwell. Blackwell into the square. Ralph and Solon. Ralph in front. Yeah. No, not paid. Would have been a beauty. Great defensive play by Swan Districts. That shine. Here he goes. To where? The black flash. <laughs> comes in board to Rance. They've run the ball well out of defence. Rance a lovely kick to half forward. Thumped on. Holmes an opportunity. Harper. Oh, didn't want it. Reynolds battling. And nobody really knew quite what was going on then. No corner on the bottom as well. So Swan's into attack. Harper, but there's been shepherding. Found the free against Brad Reynolds. Uh, looked like it was Aitken that was Aitken in the field. Aitken is it, Aitken, you're quite right. And uh, Satori, who scored a goal for Swan so far in this quarter. An opportunity from about 35 metres. Satori's kick. Uh, is that a tired kick, Marty? Is a tired player? Like Boy's done some work. If he sees his day out today, I'll be amazed. The pace he said early in the game, because the tempo of this game has been enormous. The tackling has been absolutely magnificent. Very hard to get a kick and get the ball away. There's a quick kick in towards the flank. Tommy Pierce is on the ground now for uh, Claremont off the interchange bench. Kicks toward the flank. Keith Narkel out of play. Throwing in front of the members stand. Has the breeze freshened a bit, uh, Marty? Do you Pierce think? a bit bowing up a little bit. Four goals of difference. Six minutes into the third quarter. Boucher's in there with Beecroft. Boucher having short spells on the ball. Beecroft gets the thump and the hit and the free kick. And Boucher comes in to give him a little bit more. And there it's on again. Right in front of the member stand here in the pen final. See who Boucher's going to choke. And Gilding standing his ground against Big Ron Boucher on that occasion. And I think the fact that Ron Boucher slipped and going for the ball hurt his ego and pride a little bit. Beecroft to take the kick and he's going to kick towards the wing. Beecroft's kick just forward of uh, right centre wing. But a 15 metre penalty imposed against Swan Districts, and this brings Beecroft up to the wing. So play bogging down at the moment. Beecroft's kicked the half forward. Moss in front. He could have marked that. Should have marked that. Grand mark to Rance from a strong kick by Lee Brennan. Ball from the back. Oh. He called him to play on and has given him a kick for a push. I think the play on decision was good, but the the push was a little bit tizzy in my way of thinking. So Rance with another chance. Off the half-back flank, another nice kick. Beecroft, Kenny, I stood back and let him go for it. He's gone. Throw. He did the lot. Threw it, caught, maybe. It'll be Noel Morton to take the kick. And not a lot of running to claim on side at the moment. Morton a half forward, Moss on, but nobody to take advantage of it. Except Langsford. Narkel going back. No pace in the Claremont forward line. Narkel burns them off brilliantly. Too far to kick it. This is Shine, and Swans are off again. Stan Watney from the back. A little bit of a nudge, but plays on. Gets away with it. He's over the 50-metre line, 45 metres out from Stan Watney. Has a shot! 
Sonny. One point. He's a huge, he's body well on that occasion to stand on He cheated a little bit, but the old experience stood, stood by. There's Kranzberg uh, due to come on, and that's a dangerous kick, very close to the line, but Panez has touched it. And a throw to take place on the 50 metre line. Looks like Boucher coming off and Kranzberg going to go back on. 10-8 to 6-7, there's a throw in on that uh, line down there. Good hit by Satori, puts it forward. Into the pocket it goes, and once more, another throw. Good defensive play by Morton. But a great effort by Swans. They're really making the Claremont uh, life and defence misery there. There's Boucher coming around, but he's had his effect. Short pass. Harper. Gone for all money. Finally out to Reynolds. He'll have to hurry. Exactly a superb. Lucky shine. <laughs> no kicks yet. Brad Shine's done it well. Into full forward. Kranzberg. Smith threw off the ground. That. Oh, a goal! Brilliant goal! And that's going to be the one that the one that'll really get Swans going. Desperation stakes by Swan District players then, and that talented player Mike Smith with the real Stanley Matthews went off the ground. A soccer kick was our unusual shape ball. Did it magnificently? You see it in replay. Kranzberg doing it very strongly down there. In shoots this gallant little player Mike Smith. Realise he can't bend down, put foot to ball, straight through the centre. Very good effort by the Swan District players. Swan District's 11 goals, 8 leading, Claremont 6 goals, 7. Just on the 10 minute mark, it's a Tory once more, it's another tap and a rebounce in the centre. Satori in there against Beecroft, great leap from Peter Satori. Fogarty towards Reynolds, touch the mark. Brad Reynolds between half back and the wing on the other side. Half forward flank. Farmers high in the air. Peter Ware trying to come through to Rance. Daniels. Hot potato. Ware, but still on the half forward line up towards full forward. And there's a lucky kick off the ground. And you've got to be lucky as Mike Smith proved. And uh, Blackwell is going to have a shot from 35 metres out. It'll go down as a kick to Shorty Daniels, probably. Blackwell. Claremont needing a goal. To Subiak and and he's lined it up. I think it's pretty good. That is four points. Well, Claremont breathe again. All off the ground. And Blackwell deserves a mark in the goal because he put himself in front. He's a courageous player, Wayne Blackwell. But Claremont need more of that. Failing by four goals, one at this stage. Here it is in replay. Just the kick off the ground by Daniels and the mark by Blackwell. 74 plays, 49, 11 and a half minutes in. Alexis battling in there, but on the bottom of the pack. Swan Districts. And the umpire shimmered it. Harper had, went for it by himself and missed it. This is Reynolds from the half-back flank. Look at the pass, straight to Watson. Well done. Look at the great shine, not letting him get away. Bring the ball inside. That was silly play. Swans are too smart for that. Malaxis. Out wide to Daniels from 50 metres out. Daniels. It's a long kick from Daniels. It's a good kick too. Well, I guess you've got to give him a bit of credit. He doesn't get many, or he hasn't had many, but that wasn't bad. Well, he's redeemed himself. He's kicked the goal, and the team might need those. In the first half, Shorty Roland Daniels had three kicks and no hand passes. But he's had three or four touches this quarter in the, in the first 12 minutes with one goal on the board to him. There he is in replay. Shot out to Shorty Daniels. Steadied himself beautifully. Straight through for a six-pointer. Claremont 8 7 55, Trailing Swan Districts 11 8 74 at the 13-minute mark. Alan Daniels kicked 53 goals for the Tigers during the year. Been a handy player since converted the ruck over. Mitchell wears with him. Claremont desperate in this quarter now. Larry Kickett to half four. Oh, oh, oh. And a great mark taken out there by Shine. Shine. He's been all over the ground, buddy Shine. Puts it out towards the ring. Reynolds having a good quarter. Can't grab this. Malaxis can. Farmer using the hand pass. Tommy Pierce is right up there, don't know what he's doing there. Chases his man up. Moss. Watson. Out towards a pocket, a chance for Ralph. 
and it's gone out of play. Yes, Ralph Warren Ralph will see the pressure coming on him then and lost that concentration when he shot the, well, the, the uh, ball to boot. Out of bounds on the full. His last two shots have gone out on the full, Marty. Yes, bad, bad kicking, although he was under pressure on that occasion. Sure. This is Solon bringing it in. The half back. Moss. He must be a tired player. He's dropping his marks. Leon Baker to Brenton. Brenton left foot. Open space. Open spaces. Kick it if he's quick enough is. Goes short to Morton in the centre of the ground. Getting a little bit more run, Claremont. Oh, I certainly are. O'Connell a long way up from half back or wherever. Back to Malaxis uh, to uh, kick it. And kick it's kick is on the half forward flank left. 11-8-74 to 8 7 55. 14 minutes third quarter. We've got a game on our hands now. Claremont runners are starting to move. 11 8 to 8 7. Three kicks in at the moment. Moss using the body. On the half four line, Skorowski trying to come through. Nisham's there, so is Pierce. Because Skorowski, Shine. Bam with a playing with Rare Abound. And now on the 50 metre line, look at him going in. Mitchell. Somebody's got to come out with a ball in a moment. The umpire letting it go and will finally bounce it down 40 metres out. Well, Brett Farm was a bit lucky then, but he was in possession, but the umpire said no. Big pack of players around the ball as Harper comes in. Good tackling in that passage of play. Satori, Daniels. Kick Peter Ware. Fogarty. Peter Ware still in it, and he's still got it, and he's going to bounce it down. Well, oh, what tight play by both sides. Isn't it tight? Oh, and really? uh, Blackwell is out on the field, or coming in now, but he was out on the 50 metre line. He hurt himself a little bit, but he's OK now. Moss. Chance for Harper. Through comes Brad Shine. Puts it into the park at Langsford and swans her out of trouble. Langsford, enormous kick to half forward. They all stood down and let it come to ground. Don Holmes. Still Holmes. Kranzberg is the target. And he's got it. Beecroft made virtually no attempt. Yes, he sort of lost it in transit then. Beecroft, he should not have because he had plenty of time to steady himself and destroy. But full marks to Kranzberg. He positioned himself mark. beautifully. Here it is. No, weak effort by Beecroft and seeing it in replay. Kranzberg from half forward, thumped through by Goulding. So let's recap on the score. 11 9 75 Swans, 8 7 55 Claremont. And we're 16 minutes into the third quarter. Kick it with the ball. Kick it, right full back pocket. It's close and it's too close. Possibly run. Just took a risk, Larry Kickett, but put it out on the full, and uh, skipper Keith Narkle to take it. And look, there's Satori and Leon Baker all by themselves. There goes Too the high. lead towards Baker, but it's thumped out of play. It's on the 50, about 55 metres around, <laughs> and the throw in to take place. So Ruck's coming in, Satori still in there, played a great game, and Baden Harper to compete. A lead from Harper, Skorowski. Is it around the neck or holding the ball? It's around the neck. He ducked his head. That's that terrible rule again. Yes, he's got to take it out of the game. But went in with his head down. He showed all the courage in the world as a true backman with the tear through. Got it's the free. Quick kick. Bradley Shine. 55 metres out. Langford. Can he kick a goal? He put it high. And it's straight for four points. And Brad Shine and Daniels have a little bit of how you do behind the play. Daniels tipped him as he ran away. No good doing those things after. Shine did the damage by a quick hand pass and shot it out and Langford did the rest. There's the kick Shine. to Shine. Moves gently through the pack to Langford. Straight through another goal to Swan Districts. Lovely team football by Swans there. 12 9 81. Clement 8 7 55. 17 and a half minutes into the third quarter. Moss, but over the top, Satori, as he has done all day. No Kenny, brilliant. Straight through the half back line. That's going to hurt. It did. He's going to get a kick for it. It should not have been a free kick, I think. He was falling and he got a hard bump. Umpires, I think, a little bit frightened of figure. Here's Nowotny. O'Connell trying to stick with him on the 25 metre line. Peter Kenny, 65 metres out. Ball a bit short. Nowotny in front. Opportunity for Nisham. Nisham still. Back to Narkel, here's danger. Narkel's standing kick. One point only. Is what? Yeah, behind. 
Well, they're blasting away at the goals, one, two, three. But good defensive play by Claremont. 12, 10, 82 to 8, 7, 55. Swans doing it well at the 18 minute mark, third quarter. Well, we're coming out towards a half back flank, looking for Marshall Blackwell. Panizza's got it at the back, backed up by Blackwell. Back to Panizza. Well done. Over the centre line now, Panizza. Got the lead from Ralph, and that's the way it goes. Well kicked. Oh, Ralph ducked his head, and the ball went dumped out of play. And good play by Colin. He moved in fast, and Fogarty telling him that he's ducking his head. John Fogarty's not short of words at any time, and he's certainly using him out there at the moment. He'll throw him on the 50 metre line. And if he's ducking his head, then Fogarty's got every right to tell him. And that's a push. Well, John Fogarty's going to take the kick. He's taken over the football and the umpire. Fogarty are doing quite well on both. Mitchell a chance. He's going to have to get away from where if he can. He can on this occasion. Left foot. Ralph out in front. And he's beaten again. Satori to Skorowski. Skorowski looking for Shine. Swans have got players everywhere at the moment. Shine backs up well. Into the centre of the ground. Little Aitken fumbles once more, as he has done most of the day. There's the beautiful kick towards Nowotny from Kenny. And the Watney running around like a two-year-old sees the ball out on their half-forward flank. 12, 10, 82, 8, 7, 55, 19 and a half minutes into the third quarter. Clem might look like having all the run in the last few minutes, but Swans hit back with beautiful running players, particularly from defence. They run the ball right down the end of the ground and until they kick it over the boundary in the forward pocket. Ransberg and Beecroft to do battle. Ransberg in front, gives it to Baker. Baker doesn't waste a kick. And puts it through in the middle for four points. And doesn't miss the goal. Serves to Leon Baker. No, it doesn't, it's only a point. It's only a point. It looked like a goal from here. So I had it written in and everything. I've written a goal on my budget. What am I going to do about that? Scrub it out. There's the kick in. Certainly looked like a goal, but the umpire was right on the spot. Moss from the back. Kenny in front. Keith Narkle. Plenty of time to get his kick. Puts it back towards full forward. And there's another minor score. See, poor old Mike Aitken's having a dreadful day, Marty, isn't he? Everywhere he, he goes, the ball ain't, to coin a phrase. That's right. He's uh, not judging the ball at all. He's, he's a tight defence of both sides, making it more difficult, of course. Yeah. Kick it to take the kick in for Claremont. Watson with the ball. Five goals a difference. It's a lot to make up. Alexis uh, miles too early. Both the Claremont players up and down. And uh, Narkel, they both went towards him. Easy to shine. Shine in turn to Smith. Smith to Holmes. And Swan's running right at the moment. And there's Kenny. Looks like all by himself. Aitken to ground. Daniels. Torpedo punt kick. Rance leading in the race. Back goes Brenton. He's got plenty of pace. He has. An opportunity for Panizza didn't bounce kindly. Daniels one hand down is no good. Holmes puts Dan his body in. Daniels and Mark will have a bit of a scuffle behind the play. Aitken still can't get near the ball. Reynolds kick it. Relaxes by himself if he can get there. He's got Blackwell loose. Blackwell can run quite some distance. Nisham trying to close. Blackwell around him. A chip pass into Ralph is good play. Yeah, they're the kind of hundred leads that are hard to chop off. Impossible. Yes, the, the play was wide open for the full forward, and uh, and his teammate Blackwell was not under pressure. He tried to move them down, stream down the ground. Came Warren Ralph and took a timely mark, 50 metres out. Ralph, 55 metres, long kick. Oh. Grand mark taken by Farmer. Okay. Oh, he hasn't paid it. If he didn't take that mark, I've never seen a mark. Well. And Farmer's hurt himself too. Must be that shoulder. And that is incredible that that mark wasn't paid. Never mind. Need a replay. I'd love to see this. Johnny, Johnny, you know, he took it. He brought it down. There's the replay. Have a look at it. There it is. He brought it oh. around practically, but it wasn't paid. So the game goes on. To Malaxis. To Goulding. Goulding to half forward. Where's got the set? Oh, he doesn't want it. Chance now for the Tigers. Blackwell over to Malaxis. There's the pass to Ralph. Finds him. Well, Clem are pinpointing it when they get the break, mate. Yeah, well, Peter Weir is a dashing, exciting player, but he's made three or four bad mistakes today by fumbling and dropping off an easy mark like that. 45 metres out by Ralph and needs a goal to yeah. lead the Tigers. Had plenty of opportunities to kick him, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's kicking to the Subiaco end. The wind won't affect it. 
It's drifting in, but not enough, and yet another point. So, Ralph's last three shots have been two out of bounds on the full and the behind. Yes, ones that uh, Claremont needed badly through the centre. Fogarty. Meant for Rant, and that's a strong grab. It's the answer. Strength was there, all right. Hadn't done a great deal, but coming into the game now, Rance. They're upsetting Ralph well, too. Skorowski having a word to say to him. Aitken from behind. Leon Baker, the dasher. She's unlucky not to get a kick. Beecroft. Nisha to the centre. Nisha more by himself. He is too far away from him. Ware in the middle of the ground. Lovely kick. Nawatney the target. O'Connell from behind. It was a desperation hand pass. This is Holmes. Claremont battling. Holmes and the Watney. The Watney there. Backward to Aitken, who, uh, as we said, really hasn't had the best of days. Daniels and Skorowski. This is Daniels. Daniels doing much better this quarter. Got away from Skorowski that time and got it to Mitchell. Michael Mitchell going to take a kick on the left centre wing underneath the scoreboard, which read 12 12 Swans, 8 8 Claremont. And just on the 25 minute mark coming up in the third quarter. Gone for the short pass to Larry Kickett. Kickett going right into the pocket. There's a brilliant lead, and it's come off to Warren Ralph. Warren Ralph doing leading beautifully now, taking the marks, had four or five kicks this quarter. Yes, he's getting away from his marks from 35 metres out, Warren Ralph, and if ever the Tigers hit a goal before the siren, they need it now. For two today, that's 125 for the year today. His ninth mark, this is Warren Ralph. He hadn't converted enough for the effort of kick getting so many marks. Will it be his third goal? It is. It is, and the Tigers are back in business. Showing much more determination today. 11th kick, third goal, and ninth mark, which is a good effort. Here it is. Nice pass from Kickett, wasn't it? That farmer's coming off the ground. Replaced by Minzy Cantor. So the score at the moment: 9862, 12, 12, 84. There it is. Harper. Alexis coming through. Right, kick it again to full forward. Ralph almost. This is Brenton. Still Brenton. He's caught. Gave it off to Solon. Solon confidently. Got so much pace. To Langsford. Langsford on the defensive 50 metre line. And that mark will be paid to Noel Morton. And if that was paid, I'd suggest the final one should have been as well. I suggest also Leon Baker should have competed for that mark. Here's the kick to Peniza. I thought that was all right. It was that all right? That's the ball. And this is off. Shot and sort of a kick. Fogarty loves every bit of it. John Fogarty says, thank you very much. 55 metre defensive line for Swans. Time ticking away. 26 and a half minutes gone in the third. 12, 12 to 9, 8 in favour. Swans. Towards the flank. Canther. Well shepherded by Malaxis. Gets through. Hit a hurry up and kick it, Lindsay Cantor. Finally does, but it goes back to the centre for some reason. Bradley Shine, the opportunist, to Baker. Can he reach the ball before it goes out of play? He can't throw in 55 metres out. A rolling ball. Very lucky for the uh, Claremont players on that occasion. Swans on their 50 metre line, lead 84 to 62. 27 minutes into the third quarter. Another knock to Satori. Aitken gave it straight back to Satori. This is Kenny. Baker indicated a little bit of tiredness then and running for the ball. He's done a lot of work, but I think he's still have a lot left in his legs. Kimberley coming on the ground for Swan Districts. Wait and see who's coming off. Moss. Through comes Smith. Classy. To Kenny. He's a little tired too, maybe. Looked like Reynolds' kick. And these are in front. Langsford behind, and that'll be a kick to Nardo. Don Langsford going on Langsford, the game. Yeah. Oh. Off the ground. Donny Holmes. Oh, oh he's gone for the high kick, but he played under pressure. Puts a tie, takes it, he went to handball, so it's play on. Bradley Shine in trouble, but gets his foot to the ball and puts it through for Major. Good work. 
good play by Sean. He never moved more than 12 inches then to get around that player, but he did it so beautifully by certainly a well-balanced player. Here it is in the replay. Well controlled on that one by Satori. But to play on again as he did early in the game. Back to Bradshaw and ducks and dives beautifully. Didn't cover much territory. And enough now to know how to balance himself and still see daylight between the goals and bang straight through the centre. 90 to 62. Pierce, not much of a kick. Narkel, that was though. Lovely kick for all the Claremont players ahead of the ball. Players everywhere, Swans at the moment. There's Mike Smith coming off to you. I hope he hasn't hurt himself. I think they give him a spell now. They're going to save his knee. Fogarty with the ball, 65 metres out. High into the square. Thumped away in defence by Beecroft, but uh, Claremont defence under enormous siege at the moment. 13, 12, 90, 9, 8, 62. 29 minutes into a very long third quarter. So nearly that five goals in front. Swans players. Satori being superb today. There's another one. Baker tapped it on cleverly to Kenny. Hit the post. So Claremont defence breathes again. Immense pressure down there. Michael O'Connell to bring it in towards the grandstand side. Uh, great mark to Cranesburg. He started off on the interchange bench, but been very handy in this three-quarter time. Swans 30. Was he going to have a shot? Beyond his reach. Oh, he's about 60 metres out. Take a good kick. That's Tez a good kick. Beyond his reach. That won't make the distance. 13, 12, 90 Swan Districts. 9, 8, 62, Claremont. in front 13 12 9 8 Nisham out wide just forward of left center wing Noel Morton for Claremont Bogarty coming in and there should be a kick to O'Connell looks like O'Connell backward of right center wing Going from half back to half forward, all under the ball. And a mark being paid to Satori. Daniel's claiming the thing was touched, but Satori's got the ball. What a great player he's been for Swan Districts, Peter Satori. Absolutely superb, hasn't he? He's forward of the left half back flank. Going up to left centre wing. Harper slipped at the wrong moment. Noel Morton. Watson on the bottom. And the umpire going to have that one. 13, 12, 90 to 9, 8, 62. Claremont could break away from the middle and get the play, play moving the open to get goals on the board. Opening minutes of the final quarter, and this is what the season's all about. The last half an hour, can Claremont come back? The umpire's going to rebounce. Barnes on the ground for Claremont, playing at centre-half back, number one. Claremont chasing their sixth premiership. Swans chasing their fifth. Moss gets it down. Alexis. Of players down there, and the free kick's been picked out. And it'll go to Canter. Canter right in the centre of the ground. Quick goal by the Tigers will bring them right back into it. 90 to 62. Look at this one back men picking them all up. Goes out wide. Brenton out of play. Looks like Aitken's playing on the half forward line at the moment for Claremont. 90 to 62. Satori and Harper. Satori yet again. Lost count of the number of taps that he's had. John Fogarty, half forward, Moss waiting for it, lost it. This is Don Harris, Kranzberg, nobody within four walk. metres of him. He can walk straight in and pop through the easiest goal of the day. Oh, it's never stopped by Swan Districts. Most creative from the forward line, broke away easily. The uh, Claremont players have a tendency to do the attacking from the back line, but when they don't have the ball, it all comes undone. Perfect example of the then. Here we are. Wide open spaces. Kranzberg left by himself. Left like Lazarus. 
No mistake about that one. Danger goal for Claremont. 96 to 62. Three minute mark in the final quarter, and Cranesburg been a handy player since he came off the bench. Half by this time. Quickly, Philip Markle to Kimberley. Good combination from the black and whites. Now, what knee? Just can't get it. Reynolds is with him. That was O'Connell. Kicks it very close to the line. Nisham's there. Keeps it in play. Gives it back to Fogarty. Left foot from Fogarty towards half forward. Too many up for Claremont. Philip Narkle must get a kick. And will. Philip Narkle. Three Claremont blokes flew for the ball. Probably playing his last game in Western Australia. Puts it in towards the centre half forward and Barry Kimberley in front of his marksman Panther. And 45 metres out from Barry Kimberley. Playing in his uh, first grand final for his new club this year. And uh, can he kick a goal? Offline and out of bounds on the full. So Swans are 14, 12, 96, Claremont 9, 8, 62. We are four minutes into the final quarter. Moss spent most of his time in defence. Harper, too many for him. Kenny, Harper tackling way too high. And a right cross. Silly play by uh, Harper. Yes, he's not good enough to do that. Indication of frustration on that. And if they blow their cool, Claremont, what little chance they've got is all over. So Kenny with the 15-metre penalty. Developed into a very good, useful, flexible player, this boy. It's a lovely kick. It's just going to go across the face, stumped through by Norton. Norton was not pushed, it was Moss who was. Free kick, is it, going the way of Graham Moss? So Kennedy, Kenny could be in trouble. Yeah. Moss with the kick. Not a lot offering for Claremont at the moment. Moss going out onto the right half back flank. They all stood down and let Narkle go for the ball. And he's been awarded the mark. Well, they're not consistent with their decisions in taking marks. I think it was a mark. Not consistent with the ones he has not paid. Here's Narkle's kick. He awards the Tory. Brilliant player. Six foot four. Sheer potential this player. He's nearly arrived already. Not bad for an 18 year old. Satori from 30 metres out directly in front. He's missed. So Swans move to 14 13 97. Claremont a 9 8 62 at the five minute mark in the final it's very, quarter. It's a very defensive attitude by Claremont. Moss at full back and Barnes at centre half forward. I think your big gun should be up in the attacking division. Yes, agreed there. Blackball tries to come through. Back to the centre of the ground. Malaxis. Eight can a chance. Goes wide to the flank. Oh, Barnes lost it. Sun. Shine. Chance for Mitchell. He's in the pocket. 30 metres out. Closing. Has a shot. Obviously, Mitchell. Four points, I think. Oh, he's kicked it. And Claremont could be coming back. Well, that was an easy goal for Claremont. They run that straight down the ground. It's good and uh, run through with an easy goal. You can see it in replay. No one within 25 metres of them. Most unlike the uh, Swan District's defence on that occasion. But they created a run, and there's the answer. 10-8-68, Claremont trailing Swans 14-13-97 at the six-minute mark in the final quarter. Harper versus Satori. Satori. It's Fogarty. Half forward. Holmes. Morton. Long time to slip over. Oh. Don Holmes. Oh, look at this. One, two, three. Ah, oh, he's going back. Leon Baker obviously fairly confident he can kick that. Or oh, hungry. Well, I think he made a bad mistake on that occasion. He wouldn't want to miss because Kenny had nobody within 20 metres of him. Oh. Bad play by Leon Baker. Can't be, crit can't be over critical of him, Marty. He's I, been a support. I know, but I must chastise him on that. for shocking football by Leon Baker on that occasion. Not to go on with it. The moment he took the ball. Been a great player. There's no question about that, but they make mistakes. Oh. Well, that is ridiculous. Fancy chipping the ball less than 20 metres to a man and putting it in the air. Lucky to get away with it. Daniels from behind. Aitken trying to come through. Blackwell. That's Peniza. That's a mark, really. Ralph. 
Ralph to Mitchell. Oh. And Mitchell delicately to Shine. Oh. Shine in turn goes further afield. Chance for Malaxis. Fogarty behind him. Malaxis onto Panizza, and Panizza can't control the ball. I thought well enough from the position to take that mark from Brad Shine, but he put up one hand that wasn't enough effort. Eight minute mark, 98 to 68, 30 points the difference. Don Holmes, Holmes is off, John. Holmes off and Smith on. Centre of the ground players making mistakes now as the ball comes towards centre half forward. Nobody there for a Clement. Daniels. Daniels trying to battle two or three players and the kick's going to the Swans. Ronnie McCauley told me Moss is onto the ball and beef off to full back. That's where he's got to be, Moss, the big fast player. Don Langsford, many changes made by both sides. Blackwell, Kimberley, Kimberley claiming the mark and Ben Payne. Oh, oh, Blackwell doesn't well, like it. Well, Blackwell, he's praying on his knees. Left to say Blackwell had it first. And oh, I believe he did. Kimberley's been paid the mark. Right centre wing. Mike Wall, hide your head in shame. He's gone inboard, not a good kick, and it's taken by Goulding. Goulding at half back. Claremont have really got to get something going at the moment. They're all standing around having a look. Pierce slipped over. Rance, look, they've got players everywhere. Murray Rance able to get to his feet and clear the ball. Moss. Noel Morton. That'll take it. That's Peniza. This is Malaxis. Daniels breaking into the open space. Daniels from 55 metres. Long kick. He's missed. And gee, if ever Clermont needed a goal, it was then. It was one from Shorty, but not to be. 29 points the difference. Showing a lot of spirit, Claremont, though. They're in there, punching on right now. Solon out wide. It's OK to Langsford on the 50-metre line, defensive. Oh, good kick. Look at the kick straight to Narkel. Brilliant pass there, picked up by the Sandover medalist there on the half-back line. It's gone short. And once more, it's a good mark to Don Langsford. He's had a great season for the Black and Whites this year. Kicks a high one. Pass is in there. And Watney comes out with it, quickly gives it to Kimberley. Panthers with him too, Malaxis. Back to Morton. The Tigers going into attack to Barnes, and he takes it. Barnes, 55 metres out. The interchange player came on at three-quarter time. It'll have to be a good kick to kick this one. Into that cross breeze to the Subiaco end. He sets it out. Oh, oh, all in his arm, he couldn't pick it up. Neesham, good tackling there. Pierce to Mitchell. Mitchell back to Pierce. Pierce has a shot, and it's gone out on the fall. It's a shot of a back pocket player. That one straight to his boot, lent back, and Greek is straight to the crowd outside the point post. So it'll be Fogarty to bring the ball back in. Costly miss by Warren Ralph prior to that. A terrible miss from Mark. Going short to Skorowski. Mitchell in front of Langsford. Good time of those players, Matty. Langsford hasn't made many mistakes. He's been a great player today, Langsford, but he should have moved into that ball, so waiting for it. Good play by Mitchell. Mitchell back to full forward. Ralph and Solon. There's the ball taken by Blackwell, and I think he's missed it. Hit the post. Hit the, Hit the post. He will afford to do that sort of thing from 20 metres out. So haphazard, and he shot the goal, though. Everything's desperate, it should be now. Solon going out wide to Narkel and finding him. Prepared to come down into the back pocket from the wing. 14, 14, 98, Swans, 10, 10, 70, Claremont. 28 points the difference. Same as it was at three-quarter time. Barnes into the path of Malaxis. He in turn to Watson. And oh, ran to, oh, too high. Initially it was, I felt, right over the top of the head He's going to say a grand tackle by Ware, but Pierce was tackled too high. You see it again, there it, there it is. Replay. Yes, see, definitely too high. Absolutely. So Pierce has put it through. Claremont have got their 11th on the board, and we may still have a grand final on our hands. And that wasn't the kick of a back man, it was the kick of a forward. By Tom Pierce, right through the centre for Claremont. He deserved that free kick, and Claremont are in there, showing plenty of fight. 11-10, 76, trailing Swan Districts. 14 goals, 14, 98 points at the 12-minute mark. If they're good enough, they can still get up. Well, they're good enough, they can do it. They're showing all the spirit and desire.
And dedication is all the words you can use. Clem want to win there. 98 to 76. Moss is back in the centre. Post of Cranesburg. A vital 10 minutes coming up at this 1983 grand final. Fogarty. Sparring for a kick, but they're not going to give him at this stage of the game under rebounds. Big pack of players around the ball. Moss has brought himself onto the ball to try and send his side forward. Cranesburg's in there with him. Moss gets the thump. Markle trying to bring it away. Nisham, cool as a cucumber. Towards half forward into Watney. Scoops it out to Kimberley. He can't pick it up. But run fast enough to get to it. Panther. Malaxis. Malaxis has got a player loose. Peniza. Fogarty closing on him. And what's going to happen? You wouldn't know at the moment. Well, that blow's going to bounce it. Well, good play by Fogarty to pick up that man. 76 plays, 98. Moss kick. And that'll be a kick to Mossy. Kranzberg following Moss in the ruck and doing a very good job. But the big fellow Moss is asserting himself now. That could have right centre wing. Nice kick to half forward. Spoilt from behind by Rance. This is Pierce. Pierce coming into half forward. Kick it. Used his body well. Got it into the opens. Beat from the back pace. He'll be a hard man to stop from there. And they just ran straight over the top of him. Well played, Philip Carter. Beautiful football, man. To wear. Oh. And that was courage that time from Reynolds. And Shine. And Shine as well. They both been head on that occasion. Philip Martin, what a magnificent player. 15 kicks so far in the game. Brilliant footballer. 14, 14, 98 to 11, 10, 76. Well, Shorty Daniels got to take this knock for Cranberg. He ducked his head. Philip Martin gets away with it. To half forward. Aiken set. And Aiken will get the kick. Against Martin Oh, he's gone right across. That's not a good kick. Malaxis is there. O'Connell. He's got Panetta loose. And can run this boy. O'Connell. Nobody tackling him. Back to Panetta. He's about 70 metres out in the pocket. Now it's 60. A long kick towards full forward. Uh -huh. And a timely mark by Alan Cranford. Beautiful mark. Came from the side. Floated to the front. That's indicative of a top player. Certainly proved himself since he came on the game. Oh, he's gone for the short pass in the back line. He's gone to Sol, and he's confident. He's gone for the bounce. Oof. Gets it back to the centre. Over the head of all players. Kimberley. Hard ball to judge that kick. Gets out of it and gives it to Keith Narco. Narco's just backward of centre. Claremont wasting opportunities. Narco's going to give it to his brother. Just out in the open will do him. Philip Narkel looking for Kenny. And Kenny able to take an easy mark. Doesn't he love those front, that front bird? O'Connell hopelessly out of position. Beautiful hands, Kenny. He's having a bit of leg trouble too. Yes, he's Kenny. in stride. Yeah, he's been cramping for a long while, Peter Kenny, but he's fighting over the cramps, which is very hard to do. Kenny's kicked to the edge of the square. Satori from behind. Satori, if he kicks it, it'll be a miracle. He has it, it's superb play. I can't think of enough adjectives to for this guy. What a great performance he's put in, in my opinion, the greatest player on the ground without a doubt. He's run beautifully all day, he's marked well overhead. Now here it is in replay. Didn't take the grab, but look at him, the big thinking of Satori. Second bite, twisted out of a pack, onto his left foot, and his third goal for the his own personal self and 15 goals, 14, 104 the Swans leading Claremont 11, 10, 76. 16 and a half minute mark in the final quarter. Watson gets it out to Blackwell. Now for Penisra, long kick towards full forward. Where's there and Pierce? Where's Mark? And, and Kenny Jackson. Well, but that was a timely mark. Kicks it to Solon. Back pocket. Tony Solon gets it to halfback. John Oskarowski. They're taking their time now, the black and whites. They know they've got this game right. thrown up. Rand saw he's in trouble, threw it away. Gets out of it. They've always got the backup, but still in the centre of the ground. Mike Smith. Yeah, Running right. around on this fellow's legs. Beecroft underneath it. Tool takes the mark and the thump. That's no, O'Connell that's got the mark. Is. And uh, that would have... Uh, it wouldn't hurt much. 
He's a fairly tough little bloke. Yes, he's got plenty of grit. So Clunnell's kick, not a lot offering though. Daniels off the ground. Beaumont players getting tired. And pass out to Canter. Canter a chip to Daniels. Daniels is on the right centre wing. 15, 14, 104 to 11, 10, 76. Daniels kick. An opportunity for Blackwell. Blackwell to Ralph. Ralph from the pocket. And grand defensive play by Rance to get it away from Barnes. There's no effort to mark it, which was good defensive football, as you suggested. Punts it away, makes sure it's safety first. Claremont with the ball in their left full forward pocket. Ross trying to get it out to Mitchell. Too far for him. Narkle. Mitchell can't stand up. Now Langsford for Swans towards the boundary line. Used it well, the boundary line. And Swans defence reigning supreme. Thrown in the left full forward pocket about 50 metres out. Awesome and Fransberg. Fransberg been a useful player. Oh, been a very good player. Certainly has. Alexis. Finally kicks it to centre half forward and tries to get it down there. Fogarty. That must be paid to John Fogarty. All these uh, runners and handy players for the Black and Whites coming into the game. He's gone right across the ground to Mike Smith. He's got Kimberley. He's going back to the centre to Skipper Narkel. And Keith Narkel centre of the ground. In complete command at the moment. Yes, yeah. one's running Claremont ragged. 226 games for this fellow and had a great career with the Black and Whites as he kicks from the centre to half forward. And the what and marks. The veteran taking the mark on the half forward line with the applause of the Swan supporters. Kicks it towards the forward pocket. O'Connell trying to keep it in, throw it. 15 14, 104 to 11 10, 76. 19 minutes into the final quarter. Satori, Beecroft, it was Goulding. This is Reynolds. Reynolds to the wing. Barnes. Couldn't quite get there in time. So it's on Swan's right centre wing. Time ticking away, 19 and a half minutes into the final quarter. Moss and Kranzberg. This is Mitchell. Narkel. Peniza. Peniza off the ground. Where might get across there first, but look at Solon charge through. Where backing up superbly. Peter Ware, left foot. Fogarty will get there. Lovely kick by Peter Ware. Well, don't they use the ball well out of defence? Leon Baker or Brad Shine, take your pick. We're talking. Brad Shine, left centre wing. Smothered that time though, but plenty of time to recover Shine. To Langsford. Langsford left half forward flank. Beecroft from behind. Satori in front. Nisham to Nowotny. Nowotny looking for Smith, but it's just out of his reach. Yeah, you heard that stand. It should have been a nice left hand hand pass to him. Talk quickly. Beecroft, Reynolds, Aitken now. And the Claremont players hopelessly out of position. John Fogarty knows where to put himself to get that ball. And what a game he's playing this player. Done it all the year. To Langsford, another good player. Brings it into centre half forward. A little bit of jostling there, and uh, Morton will take the kick. Black will argue with Mike Smith. Too late to argue. Get on with the game. 21 minute mark, and Claremont need a couple of goals in a hurry. There's Captain Coach Moss. He's done a good job. O'Connell. Kicked it to half forward, but not a good kick. That man again, John Fogarty. He's everywhere. A rocking defence. Takes the punt across the ground to Rance. Certainly come of age, this uh, fellow this year. You can take the punt with five goals in front of him. He's going back to Fogarty. Play. They're playing out time at the moment. This is it for Rance. John Fogarty. Salt into the words. He'll just drop it into Ware if he wants to. Peter Ware all that. on his own. Well, this is uh, keep it up at the moment, and Swans have got the ball. Kicks it up to half forward. And a good mark there to Aitken. Aitken off the half-back flank, playing better since he went out there. Pops it up high to Moss, who's got to wait for it to come down. Fogarty! <laughs> Sensational quarter Fogarty he's having. Well, there he is. I know his father will be very pleased with this display because he was a great footballer. 
What a performance. short, there was the mark. Fogarty, six marks and 11 kicks for the quarter in the final quarter in the grand final. What a performance. Skorowski, and they tried to do it once too often, but I fear it makes little difference. The 22-minute mark, Swans 15, 14, 104. Claremont 11, 10, 76. Thrown there underneath the scoreboard. Can Claremont get it down to score? Langsford. Kimberley. Goulding. And once more, another throw. They need a lift, they need the Tigers. They need more than a lift, they need a fork lift at the moment. Well, something to get them up there. Moss is in there. They've competed very strongly, Claremont, but outgunned by a better side. Cransburg to Daniels. Finally gets his kick towards the pocket. Lindsay Canthar. He's about 70 metres out in the right half forward flank. Goes into the pocket. Where's there? Battle going on on the ground. Bradley Shine. Back it comes from Alexis. He's well tackled by John Fogarty. Oh, again. Holding the ball. John Fogarty, I remember this quarter for a long One time. One of the best defensive performances by a back man I've seen for many a day. This quarter by John Fogarty. Every yeah. facet of the game. Marking, destroying, tackling and good kicking. And handball to boot. Indicating that he's going to kick long. And Which does he, just that, John. He does. Moss in front. Kranzberg behind. Off they go. Right hand pass to Kimberley. Nark will chop that off. Caught by Kickett. Around Neesham. I don't know who that was meant for. Fogarty, probably. This is Mitchell. Fogarty. Kniza. Shine. Running around in circles. The Swans have taken desperation pills. They're not giving in. They're fighting every inch of the way. Alexis from Canter. Alexis to full forward. Solon, Rance, whomever you like. When I say Swans are not giving in, they're not yielding one bit. They've got the front berth and they're determined to stay there. 24 and a half minute mark coming up. And 15-14 uh, to 11-11. Kicking straight up the ground. And it comes to flank to Brenton. He has a swing at it. Skorowski. Yeah. Clamour are well behind, but they're not giving in. Good tackle by Barnes. Picked up by Daniels. Puts it in towards full forward. And Murray Rance. All day, bro. All day to get rid of it. <laughs> it's in slow motion at the moment. At the moment it is, yeah. Rance puts it up towards half uh, back and a good mark. There Beautiful by mark, Brian Moss. He's tried hard all day. He has. Back it comes to the full forward area. Barnes a chance. He's a backman. Can he kick a goal? Yes, he can. He can and a much needed one of the Tigers. Yes, well, another goal for Claremont. 12 goals, 11. Trailing Swan Districts, 15 goals, 14. Giving away four goals and the 25-minute uh, mark. Enormous out, but they're not, as you say, they haven't surrendered. Here it is in replay. And shoots in over the top. Regularly throws the ball to his boot, but connects beautifully and goal on the board. Three goals, three the difference, but Swans always had the uh, initiative to come back. And the ability to lift themselves and come back. Right. End of the time on period. Not much time to go in this 1983 grand final, and Claremont making a desperate effort. Moss and Satori, two of the main ruckmen on the ground. Goulding. Mitchell. Michael Smith. A lot of tired players out there at the moment. Smith gives it to Keith Narkel. He's still got plenty of run in his legs. Oh, he's having trouble. There's his opposite captain. <laughs> Moss is trying everything to get it up in. Finally, a push in the back. Bad luck, Graham Moss. A gallant. Fell over in frustration. What a gallant effort by both captains. Big Graham Moss. Not his forte, ducking and diving on the ground, but he certainly gave every inch of his energy to keep up with the captain, Keith Nark. And Keith's had it after that effort. The Bradley Shine, who's been a good player all day. Skorowski, centre of the ground. They're still playing keep it off to half forward. O'Connell from the back. Goes for the thump, looking for Blackwell. Out he comes. Ooh. Boots going in hard. Blackwell recovers. Now what? He come right down to get a kick. Back to Keith Narkel. Keith went Short pass. Go. They're fiddling a bit. Blackwell will get the kick. Well, time ticking away. 26 and a half. Coming up to the 27 minute mark. You've got to kick it long, Wayne Blackwell, and you've got to kick it in a hurry. He's kicked it short. They found a teammate. Kick it. He'll kick it long to centre half forward. 
Shorty Daniels surrounded there by players. He might come out with it. He's got to make a determined effort. Solon's there. So is Satori. And Brenton. Out it goes to shine off Kimberly. And Kimberly marks. Setting it down the stage. Kimberly. Kimberly wears on the half forward flank at the moment. Their eyes have hit then Peter Ware. Yes, he's had a lot of trouble today, Peter Ware. Gets out of it to Shine. Shine running in towards a 50 metre mark and he's allowed to run in. Oh, plenty of time. Donny Holmes. There's the siren. Swan Districts are winners of the 1983 Grand Final. Swan Districts, 15 14, 104. Defeating a gallant Claremont, 12 11, 83. The Premiership flag. 